The Australian government has decided to ban small breasts in porn. Okay. <laughs> they feel that uh, small breasts basically makes men pervy wankers and makes them pedophiles because it makes them reminiscent of uh, young girls. It, this is an unbelievable story. Yeah. Okay. Now, the, the censors and the Australian government says, no, we're not banning all small breasts from porn. You know, if you're 40 or 50, you know, and you definitely don't look like someone who's underage, then make you, maybe we can make an exception. But otherwise, we like big, juicy knockers. Okay. <laughs> And you give me big breasts, I won't let that go in the porn in Australia, okay? Everybody's having fun with that, okay? But you come at me with that flat chest nonsense. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call you a pervy wank. Right. Okay. I mean, no one can believe this. This is, this is outrageous. Yeah, look, I didn't believe the story. Tom sent it to us first, and uh, it, it was some weird publication called The Register uh -huh. some, uh, that I had never heard of, and I was like, no, this story can't be true, right? And that just could just be a local paper or wherever right, that's right. not weird. Yeah, right. right. But, <laughs> but it we just, haven't heard of it. It just seems so unbelievable to me that I was like, okay, I don't really know too much about this publication, so I'm not sure if it's true, but then further research revealed that it is true. And there are two specific senators in uh, Australia right now that are spearheading this whole campaign against small breasts, okay? And uh, it's Senator Barnaby Joyce and Guy Barnett. And um, they're basically saying, yeah, if you see women uh, with small breasts, it basically encourages pedophilia, and we want to get rid of it. And they're also against uh, female ejaculation, okay? <laughs> they, thought that, they thought they just tossed that in there as well. They're like, yeah, we, we're not into that, so let's, let's ban it. That, you know, that has no justification like pedophilia <laughs> or anything. They're just not cool with it. They just don't like it. So. They're like, I mean, come on. That, that freaks everybody out. <laughs> we can't have that. That's ridiculous. Oh, male ejaculation, wherever it might be, you know, I've heard of these things called facials or bukkakis or whatever it might be. That's cool. Big tits, male ejaculation, Australian censors are it. Right. Small breasts, female ejaculation, can't have it, can't play with it, can't win with it. Okay. Nice. And I love the porn industry's excuse on this one. They're like, hey, dude, it's mainly fake. Okay? We do like a little lube and then... Okay, they're not really ejaculating like that, right? And so can we show it since it's not real? Well, the censors are considering it. Right. Now, the censors uh, are giving two uh, reasons for the bans, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the first reason is that it depicts, uh, that the de depictions are a form of urination, which is banned under the label of golden showers in the classification guidelines. I mean, I love these rules. I mean, whenever you have the government talking about golden showers, it's always a win. <laughs> and second of all, why is female ejaculation a golden shower, but male ejaculation isn't? Right, exactly. No, 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 this is sexist. It's not okay. It's totally, it, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absurd. This is a, look, you know how Republicans here talk about over-government regulation? This is over-government regulation. But, of course, ironically, this is the kind of regulation that conservatives love, mm -hmm. right? They don't want the government interfering with the banks as they rip us off. But if they're going to get into your bedroom or what kind of porn you're going to watch and what the size of the breasts need to be or, you know, what the, how, which kind of ejaculation is allowed or not, they're all over. Right. There's no way those are liberal sent. I think. <laughs> I don't know as much about Australian politics as I do about American politics, but I would be surprised. And certainly here in America, those would be conservative senators. So, uh, look, my ruling is, uh, on the small breasts, if you have a porn that is trying to depict child pornography but uses people who are over 18, I can see how that would be a problem. Mm -hmm. Like if they purposely say, she's 14, look at her, okay, then you got a problem and you could make that illegal or censor it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. If you just have a woman who's overage and doesn't have big breasts, making that illegal is insanity, okay? Censoring that is crazy talk. And on the female ejaculation, one, I never knew, I never believed it. Right. Okay. People are like, oh, isn't that amazing? Like, there's no way. No, no, no. There's such thing. No, 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 no. I know that it could happen, mm -hmm. right? But it doesn't happen with the frequency that you see it in porn. Right. In porn, the women are going here, and they're going over there, and they're going over here. Like, come on, man. How many female ejaculating women could you find? <laughs> right? And, but even if it's fake or real, let them go. Right. Let them go. By the way, this sends like a really bad message to women, too, because it's saying, all right, if you're a grown woman, all right, and you have A-cup boobies, you have the body of a little girl, and you are not desirable. And if guys, and, and, and if guys are into you, right. 
they're likely to be pedophiles. Right, exactly. Exactly. No, can't have it, man. Can't play with that. Can't win with it. That's it's just it's unbelievable. Right. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> All right, but they did. They did.